Welcome to the Mad Max channel. Slightly later than planned, I finally have a video. Yes, I know it's a World of Warships one. Don't worry, I'm going to have multiple videos during the week. Um, product reviews, Android games. Waiting for the Simpsons game, so guys, do hold on. I will get it once it's finally been uploaded. Anyway, the purpose of today's video is spending 750,000 free XP on buying the battleship Missouri. Right, let's research it, buy it, and shove a command on it. Yep, that's 750,000 XP for you. So why do you want to buy this ship? Well, it's a T9 premium. Normally, Wargaming don't do things past 8. Tons of tier 8 stuff you can buy. Only one thing for tier 9 for now. Now, the plan to take the Missouri off, so do get your hands on it if you do actually want it. So what is it like? Well, if you know what the Iowa is, then you know what the Missouri is. A couple of small little differences between the two. Not really going to go into details. Is its bow armor capable of repelling the Yamato? Not particularly. Will its side armor protect you from citadels? Not really, but really speaking, you shouldn't rely on any ship to repel sidewise citadels. I mean, even the Yamato itself can be Citadel from the side. So there we are, the commander, Steven Seagal, on board of the Missouri. Sounds familiar from somewhere. Hmm, could have sworn someone made a movie like that. Just kidding, of course it did. Under siege. Now, apparently, in port, you do get to see him walking around on deck. Completely forgot that one, so... Never mind. So doing the typical specs, all the consumables, we do these as premiums, more recharges, quicker reload times, it's fine. Ship is apparently meant to make money. So, the biggest question of all is, can it make more than a Tirpitz? And with a Tirpitz, on a good day, I can do 500,000 in a battle. Minus all expenses, obviously. So it's a question of whether this ship can actually do it. So... I'm doing a setup of secondary systems to prevent them from being knocked out. Because obviously, AA guns wise, it's a good ship. Reach is 100% gun rating, but I wouldn't quite tempt it. Secondary batteries, not going to concentrate on it too much. On a debate here, uh, yeah, we'll extend the AA a little bit more. Not too bothered about secondary batteries. I mean, she can push it close to a German battleship, but this hasn't got the same significant amount of firepower. Concealment, yeah, I think we'll go for concealment. Make the show for uh, ship look a bit more stealthy. Compare the gun range with the detection range. And then lastly, accuracy. Typical thing with a American battleship is the guns aren't entirely accurate. Yeah, definitely accuracy. Uh, running out of cash, we're going to do a little conversion there. Yep, yeah, definitely concealment. Right, that's the ship set up. Will we run it with any flags? Mm, no, we'll just use one of the standardized flags. We'll see how this ship does with standard hull uh, camouflage. Or its own personal boosters. Not going to bother with any other boosters than that. Let's take the ship out for a spin, I guess.
Oh, waiting in the queue for a battle. Hopefully not too long. He says not waiting too long for the battle to start. Yay! About time. Well, that's a wishful uh, matchmaking, tier 9 pop. Four destroyers, top tier. How hard could it possibly be? No aircraft uh, carrier, which is a shame, really. Wouldn't mind it tested on that. Pop. So, standard procedure. Keep your nose to the enemy, don't give them a side, and use rear turret in opportunity measures, i.e. if something's close to the back of you. Action stations. Okay, Doki, coming up to the first usable target. We'll fight off a salvo there. Oh, 
one thing to keep in mind with these guns here is travel time. They're not as fast as German battleships. These shells do take a while to travel. So be aware on that one good lead. And at the moment, I am playing with fire. I am giving a little bit too much broad for uh, broadside for my taste, really. Extend the distance a little bit. Straightening up a little bit, that's giving them the nose. When we would admit at the moment I'm playing a ship more like a snap than I am um, as a forward fighting force hang around at the back a little bit. We either pay off or not pay off. Currently we are in need with capture points. But they are in the lead by one extra ship. Yeah, again, not brewing as a salvo. A really good time if these guns reload. Perfect broadside. Yeah, that hurt. On fire. Well, no surprise really. My commander has got extended AA and secondary battery range skill, but I've done the mistake of not doing the fire one first to reduce the chances of fire. So the ship will catch fire fairly often. It is plenty of bits and superstructure parts hang around on board the ship. Two fires and flooding. Use the repair on that one, I'm afraid. I'm not going to be able to avoid that one. Secondary battery range for the destroyer. Some good news and bad news. Bad news, he's still definitely in range. Uh, he's definitely still in range for doing another piece, right? Like, oh, double damn, double fire. Typical. Solved, sir. I'm gonna have to do a runner. Guys, nice. see you later. Uh, 
and looks like the team's not doing that well either. We're definitely behind, uh, very much behind. And I'm bleeding health quite quickly now. Fire's definitely done without that. Even so we are down a couple of ships, we still are in the lead, only just the matter of like one ship. What I need to do now is just get my health going again. And the Missouri itself does not play the same way as a German battleship, I think. German battleship is called close range and you become a bully. Heavy, hard to citadel from the sides, powerful secondary batteries, torpedoes if you use the turpits. It is a close range brawler designed for close range bully and chase people around the place. Turpits is great for that. I've had so many games where you chase down a tier 6, tier 7 battleship and they're running away from lives. Murazuri, however, I don't know. I probably need to work on my play style off this battleship to really do a proper judgement on it. But as long as it makes money, I'm happy with that. We're still controlling two points. That's a bonus. And we sort of catched up a couple of ships. I have a distinct thing we could potentially still lose this. Got back up to nearly half health again. That's good. Oh, we've got opportunity of getting mm, two thirds health back. Yeah. We're still in the game by a good margin. I need to do is kill something. Why am I getting a feeling that's going to be a torpedo strike or he's going for ram? We need these points. See if we pull him out of that cap circle. Oh, well, there's that German Bismarck again. Technic 
we got the side of him. Speed up a little bit. Damage on I better beware of this battleship. Sugar, we lost another ship. Where's that best map gone? side of the island that's all right get around bust up that cruiser this mark using these uh, spotter aircraft to find me mm -hmm. oh he's got radar is it hydro oh, I think it's hydro good exact salvo from the side we got one sitting there. Haven't killed him, which is a drawback. Someone's using his Yamato Commander. Hence the red shells. And I believe I'm too fast. Yeah, too fast. We're gonna get this guy now. Yeah. Oh dear. This is our Commander. Or it could be worse, it could be in a death pit. Um, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. What is he up to? He's not. No, surely not. Yes, he is. Right, come on guns. No, we're not going to get that. Well, well, we know how this is going to end, Mark. Ooh, we killed him. I might have died in the process, but we killed him. And we've left it down to one single destroyer left. Against all these guys. We are leading in points, only just, but not enough. Captured B. This leaves Dada too. They are scattered around, so, which is bad news. Well, we've lost one exit capture point. That is bad. We are still in the lead by points, but not by much. We're losing that lead now. Oh dear. Right, okay. Now we're definitely in trouble with losing this one. 
There's no other way of putting it. We are going to lose this one. Tell you what, this would have been close. If we could have kept one cat point a little longer, we would have probably just about managed it. But in this case, I do believe it's a defeat, I'm afraid. Okay, clock, finish counting down. We know the defeat. So, half a million credits. That there is stock with a premium account. Not too bad. Bad, but you know it's not amazing. Oh, top of a lot. Well, you'd expect that I was top of the tree, so I should be the top. Being realistic. Mm, nothing amazing done damage-wise. Let's have a look. Commander skills and stuff like that. Yeah. No particular interesting points on that one obviously there's a small uh, drop on charge from the camouflage for repair costs and stuff but besides that that's fine right so i'd love to see you thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed your new year i will be having more videos this week like i say probably two product reviews there's definitely going to be an android game uh, Something else squeezed in if I can. If not, at least another three videos this week just to catch up a little bit. And yes, do like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll catch you next time.